Controlled thermonuclear fusion is a pipe dream of physicists and energy companies that they have been cherishing for decades. Putting an artificial sun in a box is a great idea. But the problem is that we don't know how to create such a box, Nobel laureate Pierre Gillis de Jeans said in 1991. Kerchedov Institute performed the physical launch of the deeply modernized hybrid thermonuclear reactor T-15MD. The experimental unit is intended for research and development of promising technologies, which can then be used in domestic and international projects. Ceremony The T-15MD megareactor, built at the Kerchedov Institute Research Center, was launched on May 18. Due to the high importance of this project, the launch was carried out at a ceremony attended by Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin, Minister of Education and Science Valery Fokov, and other officials. The guests were entrusted with pressing a symbolic button for the launch. According to the Prime Minister, the T-15MD reactor is evidence of the country's high technological level. Its launch was a huge event not only for Russia, but for the whole world. Anna Mishustin also noted that the creation of a new reliable and powerful energy source will contribute to further development of many industries. Mikhail Kovalchuk, president of the Kurchatov Institute, said that Russian science is capable of further research into thermonuclear energy. This requires the modernization of the scientific and production base. In the past, the country was able to implement such projects without foreign assistance, producing all the necessary products and components on its own. The launch of the T-15MD was monitored via video link by the Yater International Thermonuclear Project Management. Director General Bernard Bigo thanked the Russian government for its great assistance to the ITER division. Russian industry, in turn, was thanked for the high quality of the technology being implemented in the overall project. After a deep modernization, the T-15 toroidal magnetic plasma confinement facility was built at the Kurchatov Institute in the late 80s. During its construction, the existing T-10M reactor designs were used. Since 1988, the new T-15 facility has been used for various plasma confinement experiments. At that time, the Soviet facility was one of the largest and most powerful in the world. Despite all the difficulties of that period, regular research was carried out until the mid-90s. In 1996-98 the T-15 mega facility underwent its first modernization. The reactor design was refined, and the future research program was adjusted. It was now planned to use the facility to test solutions and ideas proposed for implementation in the International ITER project. In 2012 the T-15 reactor was temporarily taken out of service due to plans for a deep modernization. As part of this project, the Takamak was to get a new electromagnetic system, a new vacuum chamber, etc. A new power supply system was to provide for the increased energy needs. In essence, it was a radical overhaul of the existing plant with the replacement of all key systems. The main modernization of the T-15MD reactor was completed last year, after which the commissioning work started. The other day the upgrading process was successfully completed and the physical startup took place. At the same time, the process of development of the scientific and technical base does not stop. In April it became known that in 2021-24 the existing Takamak will be completed with new systems of different purposes. These activities will allow to form the final shape of the T-15MD mega facility and get all the necessary capabilities. Full-scale commissioning, allowing to conduct all the necessary experiments, will take place in 2024. New Principles In the course of modernization, the T-15MD reactor received a number of new systems, but its overall architecture and operating principles have not undergone fundamental changes. As before, the Takamak must create and maintain a plasma cord by means of a magnetic field. The reactor forms a cord with an aspect ratio of 2.2 and a plasma current of 2 ma in a magnetic field of 2T. The duration of continuous operation is up to 30 s. The 2021-24 modernization will take place in two stages. During the first one, three fast atom injectors with the total capacity of 6 MW and five gyrotrons of 5 MW will be installed at T-15MD. 
Then, the system of bottom hybrid heating and plasma current maintenance, as well as the system of ion cyclotron heating with capacity of 4 and 6 MW, respectively, will be introduced. As a result of the modernization, the reactor became a hybrid reactor. It is proposed to place nuclear fuel in special compartments in the so-called blanket, using thorium-232 as its fuel. When the reactor operates, the fuel has to hold back the high-energy neutron flux coming from the cord. In the process, the thorium-232 transmutes into uranium-233. The resulting isotope can be used as fuel for nuclear power plants. In this role, it is not inferior to conventional uranium-235, but has the advantage of a shorter waste half-life. Additional advantages are associated with the fact that thorium is more widespread in the Earth's crust and is significantly cheaper than uranium. In theory, a hybrid tokamak could also be used for transmutation of high-level waste. Uranium-238 or other components of spent nuclear fuel could be converted into other isotopes, including for the production of new fuel assemblies. Another option for using a hybrid plant is to build a power plant. In this case, a coolant must circulate in the blanket to provide energy transfer to the generator. Thus, the designed and implemented appearance of the hybrid reactor allows to solve several tasks at once. It can be used for power generation as well as for the production of nuclear fuel or waste treatment. Scientists will have to confirm the reality of such a reactor operation, as well as determine its actual performance, including economic indicators. Goals and Prospects The basic solutions of tokamak design and principles of its operation are well studied and worked out. This makes it possible to design new, more efficient reactors, as well as to conduct experiments with the aim of obtaining real technical, energy and economic results. This is exactly the kind of problem that can be solved with the upgraded T15MD hybrid megareactor. The physical launch of the new reactor has taken place, but its full-scale operation will only become possible in 2024, when the manufacturing and installation processes of the new systems are completed. This means that already in the middle of the decade there will be experiments that will provide the necessary information. It will make it possible to determine the most profitable ways of the development of the whole field, not only within the framework of the Russian science, but also in the international ITER program. Thus, scientists receive the most modern scientific equipment and with it the opportunity to continue daring experiments with a view to the future. It is quite possible that this time the new research will end with the desired results, thanks to which mankind will get a fundamentally new source of energy, and Russia will once again show the highest potential of its science. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.